Hello and welcome to a how-to guide to activate an endpoint risk assessment. First off, what is the endpoint risk assessment? That is a reliable tool to evaluate the current security status of your organisation at no additional cost. And what we mean by that is that this is 100% free to access and run. Based on deploying an agent to your endpoints, which supports Microsoft desktop and server OSs, uh, Linux and Mac OS, and we still support as far back as Windows XP. Whilst in the risk assessment mode, the actual agent is operating in an audit only mode. So that intentionally be ran on top of any other currently installed security solution. This in turn can assess the current security posture of your estate and log any identified cyber threats, including known and unknown malware using our zero trust model, exploits, indicators of attack, plus more. The actual agent is extremely lightweight and non-intrusive. And this ends in a comprehensive report with recommendations about our findings. Ultimately, the endpoint risk assessment report will give you a third party opinion of how effective your current security solutions are operating. Obviously, there are some requirements about getting access to this report. So you will require a WatchGuard endpoint console to enable the service in. It's worth noting that you cannot run this on consoles that have already got one of WatchGuard's endpoint solutions. This could be EDR Core, EPP, EPDR, EDR solution. So it needs to be a clean canvas. There's some simple steps to get this up and running. First off, you'll need a, an account in WatchGuard Cloud and a trial of EPDR or EPDR Advanced with the advanced reporting tool, which is recommended. There is a separate video that I'll link in the description that will guide you through the process of creating a login and setting up the trial of the endpoint solution. Once in, then you just activate the risk assessment service and we'll go through that process during the session. Okay, so here we are logged into the WatchGuard Cloud Portal. I'm going to start off by going to Monitor Endpoints. And in here, I can see that I've already got a trial of EPDR established. Now, it may be worth verifying that you've got the advanced reporting tool also enabled on here, as this will give you some more detailed insights into activity going on within your endpoints. To do this, just go up to Administration in the console, click on Trials, We'll see your EPDR trial operating. I'll click on the three dots and click on upgrade trial. Now, first off, it's going to give me the option to upgrade the product. Now, at the moment, I'm using EPDR, but actually I want to take advantage of some of the advanced IOA detections that, that are available under the advanced option. So I'm actually going to upgrade my trial to advanced EPDR. Underneath there, I have the advanced reporting tool, and I want that enabled for that additional telemetry insights within the report. I'll just select those changes and click on upgrade, and that process has been completed. It is that simple to make changes to the products within the console. Now I'm gonna go over to monitor, click on endpoints, and that takes me into the endpoint console. Now you'll see straight away at the top, there is the activation button for the assessment. So I want to switch this on, click on activate. It will explain to you that during the assessment, this is just audit mode only, so it won't proactively block, disinfect any identified threats. But as I'm running this over the top of a third party AV solution, that is absolutely fine. I'll just click on activate. And that's it. Now the trial is activated. Just a couple of pointers. When you make that change, it actually creates a new policy switching the protections all into an audit mode. And I can see that by going to settings, locating security, workstations and servers, and in here, a new policy has been created called security settings for workstations and servers for the risk assessment. If I go into that policy, you'll note the big red banner alerting you to the fact that everything is in audit only mode. At the very bottom, I have audit mode and I can see that that is switched on. But from a protection perspective, they are all operating. So the EDR protection is in operation. The anti-malware engine is monitoring. 
And in WatchGuard Cloud, you have the threat hunting rule sets being applied for the indicators of attack. Whilst in the audit phase, WatchGuard Endpoint Security is compatible with third party antivirus and EDR products. These products are not uninstalled when you install the WatchGuard Endpoint Agent. Another thing that you may want to change is the alerts. By default, the alerts will be set up to send an email to the defined email address for the account. If you don't want to receive these alerts and just want to run the summary report at the end, simply delete the email address from the account and click on save. So the console is now ready to monitor the activity going on within your environment. Obviously, you do need to install the agent onto your devices. You can click on add computers, the operating system of choice. I'll select Windows in this case. I can download the installer, that's an MSI file, and you could push it out via any software deployment platform you might have. Additionally, it's worth noting that the first machine that you install to will actually set itself up as what we call a discovery node. So it'll actually scan the network for devices that can be deployed to. They will be listed in the status dashboard, and you can select those devices to deploy the agent out to them as well. Now with the audit service in place, we have some recommendations around how long you should run this audit for. Now remember, trials typically run for 30 days, though they can be extended. And if you're looking at doing an audit on networks larger than 250 endpoints, you can request additional seats. Here we've got some guidelines of timeframes. These periods give us plenty of time to audit, pull in the telemetry, and get some good detail into that report. The report itself will actually be broken down into a couple of different categories. The summary is gonna break down the risks being detected, high risk endpoints, details around the Zero Trust application service. And with the detailed information, you'll be seeing threats like malware, vulnerabilities, end of life software, etc. The report itself when generated will come over in a PDF format, so quite easy to understand, read through with those different categories of information being displayed. And when we're in a position to actually go through the content of that report, I'd say reach out to your WatchGuard partner or to ourselves, and we'll be more than happy to go through the content identified in the document. So just to finish off is to show you how to actually get access to that report after you let the audit run for a period of time. So actually back into the endpoint console, if you go to scheduled reports, Click on add scheduled report. In the report type, you can change it from executive to risk assessment. Enter a name for the report. Define a schedule when you want this to happen automatically. So you can actually set this up quite early on. So if you know that you're going to run the audit in two weeks, set the schedule of the report to run in two weeks. Add in the destination email address as to where you want to send it, the subject, and just click on add. I hope you found this useful. If you have any doubts or questions, please reach out to your local WatchGuard representative. Thank you very much.